Hey guys, it's Miss Simpson and it's time for math today. Okay, we are going to very quickly review how to do multiplication problems. Now, if you're watching this video, it's because you do not remember how to do the multiplication problems. And that is perfectly fine because that's what we're going to work on right now. Now, if the people not watching this video, I really hope that you know exactly what you're doing. But everybody else, go ahead and get out a piece of paper and you're going to work these problems with me. So divide your paper. We're going to do three sections. So the first one, we're going to do probably the easiest out of all of them. And um, this is like a three digit or a two digit by a one digit. So like let's do 125 times five. Okay. So when I am doing multiplication, I multiply from right to to left. And it's really important that you remember that. So you take this number, this factor, and you multiply it by your ones place. So what's five times five? If you don't know, you can get out that multiplication chart and check, or you can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, right? So you write down your ones place and you carry your tens place. Now, that is just like when you're adding and subtracting. You put down your ones place and you carry your next place. Okay, now let's do five times two. Remember, you go right to left. So what's five times two? I hope you said 10. And then you have to make sure to add this little number right here. And that would be 12. So you write down your ones place and you carry your tens place. Now let's do our last number, five times one. What is five times one? Anything times one is itself, so five times one is five, and then you add your remainder, which is six. So the answer on this one is 625. Now those are typically the ones that y'all are pretty good at because there's only one number. What happens when they give you two? Now, there are two ways you can do it. You can use the area model, or you can use the standard algorithm. Now, I'm going to show you the area model first, and so I want everybody to practice this with me. Now, you can choose whichever one you like to use, but I'm going to show you both with the same problem. Okay, let's start with the area model. So I'm sure that you remember this, but you draw a box and you split it into fours. Okay, so now you take your numbers and you split them up by place value. So this one would be 10 plus two. You make them into expanded form. Do y'all remember how to do expanded form? But you expand them. And this one would be 30 plus two. Because if I add 30 plus two, it gives me 32. And if I add 12 plus two, it gives me 12. So now that I've split it up by my place value, I'm going to write the numbers on this area model. So up here is going to be my 10 and over here is going to be my two. Then I'm going to write my 30 and then my two. It doesn't matter how, which side you write your number on. It just matters what order you do. So the top needs to be the bigger one. Bottom needs to be the smaller one. Okay, so now let's multiply. So in this box, we are going to multiply our 30 and our 10. So 30 times 10, well, you have to do your two zeros first, and then you'll multiply three times one, which is three, 300. Now we're going to multiply our 30 times our two. And three, again, you can do your zero. You write your zero first. You do three times two. And what's three times two? Six. All right, and now it's time to do our next number. Two times 10. And what's two times 10? 20. And last but certainly not least, we're going to do the last box, which is two times two. And what's two times two? Four. Okay, now you don't have to draw all those arrows. I was just doing that so you could see that we do what we multiply in every box. So now we take all of those numbers and we're going to add them up. 300 plus 60 plus 20 plus 4. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 6 plus 2 is 
8 and then 3. So our answer is 384. All right, I know I went a little fast through that, but guess what? Most of you guys know how to do this one. It's either you know it and you love it, or you know it and you hate it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to standard algorithm. Standard algorithm is how your parents learned it. So if your parents help you at home, this is probably how you do it. So let's go ahead and write it a little bit bigger. So when we're doing this, we always start right to left. Same thing down here, right to left. Now, which is weird because we read from left to right, but we multiply right to left. So we're going to start with our this one's place and this one's place. So you're going to do your one's place first. So what's two times two? Four. And then you're going to do your one's place times your tens place. Two times one is two. So now you're going to scritch which I say scratch, scratch, but I'm going to scratch this one out. Scritch. If you had a remainder, you'd scratch that out. And then you're going to lay an egg, which you just means you write your zero. So now I'm going to erase all my markings. We can go ahead and multiply times the tens place. So then we'll do right to left again. Right. Three times two is six. And then three times one is three and we add them together. So go ahead, pause the video, add those two together, and then we will see. Okay, four plus zero is four. Then two plus six is eight. And then we have three. Did we get the same answer? Yes, we did. So it's exactly the same. It just depends on how you like to solve it. So you choose one and you solve it how you like. All right, guys. So today it's just multiplication practice because we are going to start moving on to geometry um, after our benchmark. Not tomorrow, but our benchmarks tomorrow. But we're going to start moving on to geometry the next day. So um, we're just going to do a little bit of review for today. All right, guys. I love y'all so much. Have a great day.